Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Paul Heyman, your general manager. And considering what has ha been happening the past uh, week, a lot has been going on. Bray Wyatt returned, and now he's in line with Randy Orton. And a stable that I wish would have never shown up on this uh, show is now re reborn. That group is the main event mafia, and that is now consisting of Rollins, Ambrose, Booker T, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle. And all they want is dominance. So, and then there's also the whole thing with the whole ending with Bobby Roode versus Edge going completely out of control. So we're going to announce three matches for Survivor Series. All will be five on five elimination matches to, or traditional Survivor Series matches. First one is going to be Team Punk. So Punk's going to lead a team of four people of his choosing against Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, and three people of their choosing. That's the first match. Second match will be Team Kevin Owens, or Team KO as he likes to call it, versus Team Sami Zayn, or whatever name he wants to come up with. And the team's already been assembled. Kevin has assigned himself, Chris Jericho, Edge, Sheamus, and Cesaro. Well, Sammy has assigned himself, Christian, Bobby Roode, Scott Dawson, and Dash Wilder. The two, the last two are the Revival. And then the main event will be AJ with a team of his choosing, four members of his choice, against the main event Mafia. As I already stated, Rollins, Ambrose, Booker T, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. So those are your matches for Survivor Series, at least the main ones. And there's also the women's match between Asuka and Becky Lynch. There's a fifth match that is yet to be determined. We'll see what fills that spot. But for now, let's get on with the show. Hello, everybody. Renee Young, your typical, um, I guess, interview lady. And I'm here with a woman who has been in a lot of heat, literally and figuratively, throughout the past month for her actions and how fans have completely despised her. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the woman who calls herself the irre irresistible force, Naya Jax. So Naya, it's been quite the month for you. And I mean that not the best way. Oh, don't even bother, Renee. It's been hard, you know, considering how much I've how hard my you know my fist hurts after punching Becky Lynch's face and whatnot. Um, Naya, you don't have to bring that up. It's old news. It, the gimmick has gone stale. But anywho, Naya, what what do you think of all the people who have criticized you this past month for you being unsafe in the ring, for you um just not having good mic skills, not having good in-ring skills, and basically getting a push because of your cousin, The Rock. What do you think of all those statements? <laughs> all those statements are just a bunch of BS, okay? Listen, yeah, my cousin's The Rock. Deal with it. We all have famous cousins. Like, Sasha Banks, she has Snoop Dogg as her cousin. I mean, what's the big deal? And has that gotten me more success than I should have? You know what? Screw it. Yeah. Yeah, and most people will be like, oh my gosh, nepotism, nepotism, nepotism. I don't care about nepotism. Who cares? <laughs> I'm the one being successful, and you're not. That's a fact. And, you know, when I did the Becky Lynch, got more, you know, coverage than um, anything uh, any woman has done in recent memory. Except for, I guess, Ronda Rousey. But, you know... She's pretty much... Ugh. How is she... Ugh. She beat you like a TLC in real life. Because she thinks she's so great. Just because she's been in, you know, in the UFC and whatnot. That doesn't mean anything in wrestling. Still doesn't. And I am going to show the world why I am the irresistible force. And why I deserve that women's title. Because Asuka's been injured for like, what couple months now, I want a shot at that title. Well, that's up to Asuka's decision, but sure. You know, go ahead. I'd like to see a women's title match. Besides, Asuka's 30 days are, are currently up, so she needs to defend. Alright. Time for me to dominate. 
well, I kind of like this, you know, me interviewing people and then they have a match. Kind of like normal WWE. like that. All right, Asuka, come on out. Because it's about time someone punches your face in for a change. Because you think you're so big and bad. First of all, I'm larger than you and I can crush you in an instant. Second of all, you're nothing. You haven't been relevant in forever, okay? I am still relevant. And I don't care what people think. I will always be the most relevant woman on the roster. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. How many times is the stupid light going to go off? Does no one pay the friggin' light bill? Come on. It's ridiculous. Well... I guess I just have to wait until you magically appear like you mean something. Oh, look, that mask, that mask, like I'm supposed to be intimidated by you. So come on out. Come on out. I'm waiting. I am waiting. I am. Wa oh, there goes Asuka. Corey Graves and Mick Foley here. Asuka from behind right to Naya. The match has started. Ring a ding ding. Oh, Asuka's going right after Naya. Oh, and Asuka, I've been getting brutalized by Sasha Banks all the way back in Unforgiven. You know, Asuka, she's looking good. Oh, nice drop kick there. And a nice knee right to uh, Naya. She's going for a German. And she hits it. She hits it. Asuka looking sharp. Despite the fact she's been out the ring for a couple months. Due to said injury by Sasha. And a splash. One. Two. Oh, but Naya. This wasn't going to be a quick, successful squash that Asuka hoped it would be. Naya power bombs her. Oh, of a senton, more of like a, a like a double leg drop or something. I don't know. It didn't look like a senton. Oh, that was a senton that killed her. But Oscar now is up against the ropes. I'm taking a bump like that. I'm surprised she's not laying down. Oh, and Oscar and uh, Naya showing off her power, her dominance, her dominant streak. Oh, just. That un that unsafe uh, style that got her in trouble. Oh, what what was that? What the Oh that was just Naya, she literally just came back from injury. Do you want her to get injured again? I don't care. I want the title. Oh well that did some damage. And she just went full steam ahead into Oscar. And a, a weird looking spine buster. <laughs> it looks like uh, Naya, she's going for a. I don't know what she's going for. Oh, a Samoan drop. And she hits it. She hits it. One, two. Oh, look at Asuka. One, two. Oh. But Naya was going to hit it again, and Asuka reversed it by throwing her face right into the apron. Uh, DDT on her head, like wow, you know that's gonna, it's gonna really sting. What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm just coming up with this stuff as I go. Oscar just launched herself right into Naya. This is a kind of a, a surprisingly good match, if I do say so myself. And Oscar once again going after Naya. And then the kicks, uh-oh, the kicks to the knees, kicks to the midsection, kicks to the face. Asuka's just brutalizing, uh, Naya. And a nice drop kick. And Asuka now, she's trying to go for a signature move, she's trying to go for the Asuka lock. But, oh! Naya reversed it. <sighs> Naya, she, you can tell she's getting, you know, burnt out by this. She's putting her in the middle of the ropes. Strange. Oh, is that a freaking headbutt? That was unique, to say the least. 
all just right to her midsection. Oh, just all oh, knee buckled right off the ropes. And then face first right to the turnbuckle again. What the? Oh, that was unique. But Asuka, Asuka, she's struggling. She's trying to get her down. But, oh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. But the, oh, my God. On her head, just trying to kill her. And just threw her all the way to the second ring. This is not going well for Asuka. She's going for, like, another one, but... She's struggling. And, but she hits it. Oh, oh. That was unique. And Asuka, she slipped out of it. Oh, just face first, sort of. Well, there you go. And she dropped her. Well, this was going good. It was good while it lasted. And Asuka, it looks like she's going for a neck breaker. A neck breaker right to Naya. She's trying to set her down, but those arm pads are kind of screwing her over. Just she's trying to go for a pin. She's trying to go for a pin. One, two, all oh, but Naya. She's up. She's up, Naya. Uh oh. Look at. all. Oh. And, uh. I don't know what's going on. Naya, what are you doing? <laughs> She's trying to go for a pin, but it's kind of hard considering Naya's arm pads are. Oh, just wrecking, just ruining her chance for going to a pin. Oh, just bouncing off again. And this match is lasting way longer than it should. <laughs> And looks like uh, looks like Naya. She's going for a power bomb off the top. Power bomb off the top. A classic. It's a classic. Oh, but look at this. <laughs> this is starting to get embarrassing. See, Naya, this is why people don't like you very much. Well, at least this is part of the reason. Oh, just off her back. But Asuka, Asuka with all oh, of just off her head, it's going to the cover, I guess. She's trying to set her down, but her leg's kind of messed up. Because, you know, Naya, she, Naya's done some pretty decent damage, and Asuka's just struggling. She's just trying... She's trying to carry Nia Jax to a decent match. She tried, but it wasn't all that successful. She's trying to go for a cover now. One, two, three, and that was an underwhelming match to say the least. But hey, Asuka looked all right in it with all those kicks and whatnot. Oh, just face first. And just kicked her face in. Oscar retains her title and uh what well, started as a good match and then just devolved into ugh <laughs> really fast. But Oscar, you know, with her return, she looks alright. She looks decent. She doesn't look too rusty. You know, she doesn't look that bad. But, oh, here comes Becky Lynch. The number one contender at Survivor Series. And, oh, there's a German right to Oscar. And Becky, oh, right to Oscar's arm, right to her arm. It, oh my God! See you at Survivor Series. <clears throat> and there goes Becky, <clears throat> last kicker for you know I'm not the last kicker anymore. I'm the man, yeah. Even though people are like, but Becky, you're not the man. No, I'm better than anyone on this roster. Everyone knows that. 
Becky Lynch is out. Well, there goes Becky Lynch. She's taking out Asuka, showing her dominance. Let's see what happens to Survivor Series. But that is all for this episode. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. And we will see you all next time. And we are out.